All right, guys, here at Griffith Park. Little solo ride. It's uh, September 21st, 2019. And it's about uh, 90 degrees here. It's almost six o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I'm here on my uh, KS16X. Not quite a virgin wheel to me, but uh, pretty new. I only have about 50 miles on it. So I uh, thought I'd give you some observations. I have a lot more testing to do, but I do, I do have some opinions already. So uh, I'll let you know what I think here. So and this is my first trail riding with the wheel. Uh, there's a few steep sections in here, so I'm going to get a feel for how what what the power is, low level power. But uh, so far, I'm really enjoying the wheel. It, uh, it rides beautifully. Lots of power. I do want to say I own this wheel. I bought it with my own money. So I have no problems trashing it and I have no problems praising it. You'll, you'll hear uh, all the, I believe, unbiased views of this wheel. With perspective that I can provide considering I have quite a few other wheels. Okay, I've been riding up some hills. It's got plenty of power, that's for sure. Uh, one thing is, I need some different pads in this. This, this is, uh, these pads are almost, you almost wonder why they even bothered to put them on. They're maybe an eighth inch thick, essentially hard, slippery. They provide really no, fr no friction with your legs. So if you're going up hills like this, which, by the way, I wasn't even thinking about it, and that was a super steep hill. This wheel's got uh, plenty of, of uh, low-end power, that's for sure. A+, plus, but uh, grippiness sucks. 
so I need something like the coochie coochie pads or I don't know it's, it's just too bad that whatever I'm going to put on here is going to be kind of ugly compared to what comes with the wheel uh, so anyway just an observation pedals are great love the pedals angle seems just about perfect they're uh, nice and comfy I did a 30 mile ride yesterday uh, pretty much like I expected I'm impressed with the, the mileage I'm getting I rode 30 miles and I was running pretty hard you know uh, for me you know 20 to 24 miles an hour I was hitting the limit on this wheel quite a bit and I rode 30 miles like that and uh, I had 55% battery no load at the end so I have a feeling when I do my range test on this I'm, it's going to be a solid 60 mile wheel uh, so us King Song fans uh, like the wheels for a range will not be disappointed with this wheel I think now one area where I really despise the King Song philosophy is right now so I've got maybe 50 miles on this wheel so I'm limited to 25 fish miles an hour so I got to ride 125 miles thereabouts before I can unleash the wheel now there's an, a lot of, a lot of apologists out there King Song apologists that will try and make excuses and oh it's all safety and you know we'd rather have them be conservative than not I just don't buy it it sucks I'm an experienced rider I know what I'm doing just give me a switch I can throw and give me uh, give me the power man <laughs> fortunately I'll only be pissed for 125 miles but I mean yesterday when I was riding I wanted to go faster on this wheel kept hearing please decelerate please decelerate <laughs> oh, so frustrating but that shall pass by the way I'm running uh, the wheel uh, came from e-wheels I don't know if I mentioned that I try and buy most of my wheels from e-wheels if you happen to want this wheel or any of the general wheels you can buy them from uh, e-wheels with my affiliate link below I just get a little something and I really appreciate it guys when you do that because I know some of you do it helps but uh, anyway the, so the wheel it comes with uh, I guess this is the second shipment from him from e-wheels and uh, it has 1.05 rest assured I'm not going to be updating the firmware uh, I might never update the firmware because it does everything I want it to do uh, <laughs> in a way if, if it functions beautifully what's the point of updating it to potentially get worse uh, performance so um, unless I hear some 1.7 release or later that that's just beautiful uh, I'm probably not going to update because uh, as far as I know 1.05 is a safe is a safe uh, version and I'm a, I'm a conservative rider I know not to push wheels you know when I'm going fast I don't lean into it to super accelerate you know I'm, I'm an experienced rider I know I know what I'm doing so I think in that context 1.05 is good so uh, more observations in a little bit All right, let's talk a little bit about ride now. So some people maybe, hate to say it, King Song fanboys might be disappointed what I'm, what I'm gonna be saying here, but uh, such is life. 
it's my wheel I can give my opinion <laughs> uh, I mean first of all in general the wheel ride's great I, I'm really having fun time riding it um, this is a keeper gonna have a lot of fun with it I think it's gonna be good in the, in the mountains uh, typical King Song I don't have to generally I don't worry about blowing them blowing a control board with a King Song wheel which I have to worry about with Gotway sometimes so you know but uh, it does have and I have this newer not the original tire I forget how what it's how it's pronounced but um, it's a newer tire and I, I like it but I, I definitely you do get a slight sense of this, what people have been calling the gyro effect where it wants to you know be upright a little bit it doesn't bother me at all now it's probably because I ride so many different wheels that I mean I I just I don't have to adjust at all really I mean the, the monster has that just a, a little bit you know I've been riding that for years now uh, the M10 3 definitely has a little bit obviously the Z10 has it a lot so this, this doesn't bother me at all uh, so I think it rides great uh, tire, tires great from my perspective uh, but one thing it does do it's not the tire it's got to be firmware I guess there's a big case where I might update the firmware then again I can live with this but it's just not ideal and that is uh, when you're when you're coming out of a, a turn like a sharper turn like you're doing a 90 or 180 something like that the pedals kind of the opposite of the pedal dip that some people complain about particularly with some Gotway wheels in a way it's the opposite of that is that the, the pedals were, will uh, tilt back like trying to straighten you out I don't like that at all again I can live with it but in a perfect world it wouldn't do that and uh, I don't recall the KS the 18XL doing that uh, or any of my other wheels uh, so I mean that it's just a negative I mean uh, you know I guess you, you might call me a Gotway fanboy I'll, I'll accept the, the label those they do not do that and uh, and I'm going to be comparing I am going to compare this to the Nikola because it's the obvious comparison right now I'm not going to compare it to the 18 XL I might make later somewhat somewhat comparison but it's a direct comparison to the Nikola we all know that's that's what people are going to be comparing it to and the Nikola does not do that at all the pedals just behave exactly how you would think they're hard in hard mode they're just like a solid platform like anchored to a piece of granite on the on the earth and no matter what how you turn they're just they're very predictable always just flat not so with this and the other comparison I have to make with uh, with uh, the Nikola is just the the bound, the the rideability the 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 quality of the ride. It's, this is very subjective, of course, but uh, this is not right as nice as the, the Nikola. There's just no way, and I, I can quantify it for you a little bit. I've been saying for quite a while now that the Nikola is the best balanced riding wheel made on the planet right now. It's the best. This is not the best. This is not tie for the best. It's a great wheel. There's a lot of great wheels out there, but the Nikola is it's it's I'm telling you guys, it's just special. Now, how can I quantify this a little bit better? As soon as when I first stepped on this wheel I knew immediately one of the one of the things that had, it was a little bit reminded me of the MSX in that the pedals felt high the center of gravity is higher on this wheel on the Nikola it just feels it 
just feels right. It does. It. You're. The, 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 I go back to saying the balance. The balance in the wheel. The center of gravity is higher in this wheel, and it is more. Feels more agile. When I say agile, I mean kind of like a little twitchy. And I think that part of that's from the higher center of gravity. But the the. The nickel is not. You get on the nickel and it just feels beautiful, really balanced, fine, and uh, and you can take your turns and your sh your sh tight turns. They're uh, so smooth and uh, and in balance. This they're not. They're a little bit. You're just fighting the the agility factor. So. It's, that's my opinion, and I, it's not, I don't think that's going to change based on how I've been riding it. I, I've been putting quite a few miles now. So, uh, now, in a po now on a more positive note, this does have some great acceleration. I, I believe it's, it's a better accelerator than in the Nikola, even the 100-volt Nikola. Now, I think... I suspect the the Nikola, even the 84 volt Nikola, would accelerate as good as this wheel. But you have to put a lot more energy into doing it. You have to really kind of lean hard, really push it. This you don't. Uh, I, you know, I was going from zero to uh, please decelerate <laughs> pretty rapidly without working it much without really working it at all just kind of leaning a little bit and it moves so uh a plus for that that's uh there's no doubt about it now is this the fastest accelerating wheel out there now, again i was comparing to the nikola uh i'm not convinced of that the Tesla, that's a damn fast accelerating wheel. And uh, ACM uh, V2, what I have, a couple of those, kind of based on the Tesla motor. Uh, that Those are pretty damn fast accelerating wheels too. So if anything, I might say this might be, might be tied for that, but uh, certainly better than the Nikola without Again, just naturally accelerating. It, it's it's nice. Okay, I thought I'd try this uh, hill. I mean, it's not going to be a problem going up, but it's a steep hill. It's uh, it's called the water tank. That's what I call it when I take people here. And by the way, any of you guys uh, <coughs> going to be coming to the LA Games? Wait, if you don't go to the LA Games, join my. Uh, seven day ride around Southern California that I'm hosting. Go to uh, Electric Unicycle World, www.electricunicycleworld.com and you'll see a link there. You don't have to go to all seven days, but e each day preceding the games, I'm uh, doing a ride. Now one of them will be here at Griffith Park and uh, during that ride, we'll be going up this uh, to the visit the water tank. So uh, let's just see how this does. I'm sure I'd have a funner time, better time if I had grippy side pads. I'm sure it'll be fine. Spectacular view up here. Look at 
that view. And there's no doubt about it that this wheel just has... <laughs> it's, it's got power, man. <clears throat> it has got power. It's going to... Uh, I think it's going to do really good at Overheat Hill. We shall see. Probably the next couple of weeks I'll be taking it there. So I'm going to be taking it to Overheat Hill. Range test, a lot of other um, rides, and uh, yeah, after a few hundred miles, I'll, I'll give you my summary. Summary, but I'm, I'm giving you some of my opinion now, obviously, which, again, what I'm telling you now, I'm pretty sure is not going to change. Just might get refined a bit, <coughs> but yeah, I'm sh curious to see how it how it does at uh, on Overeat Hill. Ah, what a beautiful day. Look at that sun, sunset. We're looking down at, uh, over here is Burbank. Uh, Burbank Airport's down there. That's where the Johnny Carson, late night, where you of my generation was filmed down that area. I think. <laughs> Yeah, wow, what a beautiful night. September 21st. I'm almost barely sweating here. It's probably about 85 degrees. Sunset. Ah, I love riding, love riding in Southern California. Now I want to say also, it feels great going downhill too. It's got very got plenty of power going down the hill. You have a lot of confidence. Unlike the Z10 and other wheels, <coughs> like the MSX. MSX does not exude power going down super steep hills. So uh, this is definitely a winner from power perspective. But let's face it, if you're if you're a Gotway rider and you like the performance of the Gotway wheels <clears throat> and you have to budget and you can't afford more than just a couple wheels, I can't see recommending you, that you buy this wheel because you're you're going to be pissed off half the time when you're when you're uh, getting the t tilt back. You know, please decelerate. It's just the bottom line, folks, you know, and, and the, the faster wheel they make is 31 miles an hour, and <coughs> it's fast enough for me, but I know there's a lot of you guys that, uh, that like to go faster than that. Like I said, the guy, you guys who buy Gotway wheels. So, uh, if, you know, if you're like me and you enjoy variety and you, you kind of like to collect wheels, uh, yeah, buy the by the 16X. I mean, it's a great wheel. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, again, I think it's going to be a really excel uh, for doing this kind of ri riding. But flat out riding, uh, no, you're not going to you're not going to want to buy this wheel. My opinion. So before I leave you, a few other things. The trolley handle. Love the trolley handle. No one makes a better trolley handle, in my opinion, than uh, King Song. You, I love it. I centered right over the wheel. The lift sensor doesn't seem too sensitive to me. Uh, I know, like Duff was uh, complaining about that, but it could have been because he had pre-production model. I don't know. Uh, I tried calibrating it, but the calibrate function doesn't seem to work. Maybe you don't need to calibrate it. Uh, so, I, I love it. And the, by the way, the Android, the Kingsong Android app works great. I have had no problems with it. It reports the correct battery percentage. 
So, uh, missed my turn here. So A plus on that. So let's see. Uh, the light. Uh, I don't know, King Song keeps, I don't think, I think this is a different light than it's on the 18XL and uh, I love it. Boy, I think King Song owns like the trolley handle. I think they own the lights, man. I love the light. It's got this pretty decent light that shoots way out at, at night and I was riding this in real dark conditions. So it illuminates your path way out front and it's got a like a spotlight that points down. I guess if I find my druthers, I'd have that that light, the bright light that's pointing down, maybe have that point just a little bit f forward. But uh, in general, man, it's a it's a great light. A plus on that. And uh, now the speakers. So. Uh, Dude. That's a disappointment. <laughs> uh, and I don't think I'm the first one saying this. The speakers sound uh, kind of muffled. I guess it's supposed to have a subwoofer, and maybe that's what's doing it. But uh, boy, the again, I'm going to compare it to the Nikola uh, and probably the Monster. I think that has in the Tessa, the new ones, they all probably have the same sound module. Uh, it sounds so much better than this the, this sound system. It's okay, obviously it's better than nothing. <coughs> but I think the I think the XL is, the 18 XL is better. My 14 S S was better. Yeah, this is just it's muddy, muddy. So. Uh, Oh, excuse me. So that's that. So I'm heading up to the top of uh, the highest peak above Griffith Park right now. And I think that will do it for my kind of kind of first impressions of the Nick after of the, <laughs> of the 16 XL after about 50 or so miles. And uh, again, more to follow. The light just auto turned on. I don't know if you can see, the bright light is kind of all you can see right now. But, uh, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Adios. Woo! <laughs>